To the hardwood, the Mizzou Tigers hit the floor for their first exhibition game last night. KUMUH's Josh Sultan looks at three Tigers in particular. After sitting on the bench all last season, Missouri forward Lawrence Bowers is more than ready to get back on the court and join his teammates. I feel great um, as far as from a physical standpoint. It's just, you know, getting back in the flow. Uh, I have, that was my first game in 19, almost 19, 20 months, something like that. So um, I think, you know, it'll come in time. It feels, it feels real good because, I mean, I played with him my freshman year, and, and once he got hurt last year, it was like, I don't know, I guess it was like a blessing in disguise. Coach Frank Hayes joins a long list of fans and teammates that were excited to have Bowers back. He's a talented guy, a talented player, and, uh, you know, he's getting better and better. And it's, it's about his timing, you know, because he's taking a whole year off. You know, his knee is perfect, 100%. Bowers had 14 points and says his knee is fully healed, but he's still taking it one step at a time. Bowers brought the fans to their feet at first, but then took a backseat to fresh faces, Keon Bell. Hello, Keon Bell! And Ernest Ross. In his first game in a Mizzou uniform, Ross led the team with six three-pointers and a career-high 22 points. Being able to knock down open shots is going to be important for this team, and it's something I take pride in and that I have to do in lockdown defensively. The new guys that we got coming in with Ernest, Keon, Jabari, and along with the rest of the freshmen, I mean... Only, only time can tell how good we can we can become. Josh Sultan, KMU8 Sports, Columbia. Zoo plays its final exhibition game Sunday against Missouri Southern. The Columbia.